Welcome back everybody to another Bronco video. Today we are hoping to get this thing all welded up and off the frame machine. And I'm super excited because this is a really big job and I'm really excited about getting it done. Let's jump right into it and see what we got going on. As you guys can see, I have removed the lower bar. That way I can level out these frame rails. As you guys can see, I've got them prepared. I've got everything wire wheeled. I've got the uh, well through primer sprayed all through the inside that way it does not rust and also once we are done welding we will use our cavity wax on the inside of those rails and fill them up real nice and uh, I think that it should be good to go after that probably would not rust uh, hopefully it won't rust I don't know that cavity wax seems like it's pretty good stuff the main thing right now to do is to square up these front rails to get them leveled out and uh, to get them tacked in place and make sure that they're good and then go ahead and weld them up solid. And according to the instruction manual, it's a crush can installation, which basically means you jam it in there and when it stops, it's good. So uh, I've got them jammed in there right now. What I need to do is I need to put a level onto the tops of the rails, make sure that they're leveled out and then I need to square the rails up and once they're squared up and looking good, then I'll tack them into place and then uh, we'll go ahead and weld it. And it also says when, when you're welding to minimize starting and stopping. I don't know why, but that's what it says. And it also says a five millimeter overlap on the weld. So, you know, each weld that I do, I have to overlap the, the end butt weld five millimeters, which that makes sense. But I, I don't know why they want me to not stop. Well, because the welds will cool down at different times. That could be true. But also what I think it is, is when you do one solid weld, uh, it's basically one weld. So when this thing has an accident again, it's going to break off right there along that weld or it's going to bend. Versus if I stack dimes on it, you would have a bunch of individual welds and it'd be a lot stronger because they would all have to break individually. So that could be it because I've noticed most frames, they're welded with beads all the way. And that's just, that's a little bit weaker than dimes, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section because I'm not always right. Although I always do think I'm right. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and square these things up and get them welded and uh, quit talking. You see what I'm saying? I like to stabilize the frame rails before I do any kind of major welding. So as you guys know, anytime you're welding, uh, the steel is shrinking because of the heat. Uh, metal, when it gets hot, it does some crazy stuff. So uh, when you start welding, after the weld cools down, it's going to start pulling metal in. So if you don't stabilize the ends, as you weld, that rail is gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff. Like when you weld it on this side, it's gonna pull it this way, and then when you weld it on this side, it's gonna try to pull it back the other way, and if this weld's hotter than that weld, it's not gonna be even. But if we tack it in place like this, and do an A-frame, it can't move side to side, it can't move up and down, it can't do anything, so as the metal cools, it's going to cool in the proper position. So that's why I did that, and uh, once we get it all welded up, once it cools down completely to the touch, we'll cut these off and toss them, and then keep on going.
All right, so now that we got our frame horns welded on, it is time to go ahead and assemble the uh, the SORB brackets, I guess they're called. That's what the instructions say anyways. Uh, so basically what I need to do, I need to clean all the edges that need to be welded, like right here around this hole. Uh, we're gonna need to weld it on this side. We also need to weld it on that side. So I have to wire wheel that and wire wheel the spots where the welds will be as well. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna wire wheel the horns and then I'm gonna stick these pieces in there, mark them where they're going to sit, and then wire wheel around that. That way we get a nice, clean, solid weld. So to keep the inside of the frame rail from rusting, I'm going to apply some of this cavity wax on it. All right, check that out. We've got the front end all put together on the Bronco, and uh, we even got these little brackets right here, which we did not have in the beginning. So we'll have to paint those. Uh, but as you guys can see, everything is lining up pretty good. The gaps are looking really good. Uh, I think we're ready. You think we're ready, Nate? For what? To go off-roading. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look at those frame rails though. You gotta say that those frame rails are looking good. What do you think, Nate? They're looking like they, they were, were never touched. Better than OEM to me. Hey, these these frame rails are literally 2022 style. Where's my 13? What's up, Mike? How you hear it? What's up, man? I got that mower in here, my 30 incher. I have no steering. I really need you to look at my mower. This is not uh What is this? It's a Bronco. A Bronco? Why do it look like a 64 Chevrolet? <laughs> 
tell you, the front end looked like a 64 Chevrolet. Mike, what are you yeah. on? <laughs> what you been doing this morning? Uh, you been mowing that grass? Hell yeah, man. I'm excited, man. Oh, man, that John Deere's fast, dude. What's going on? Hey, look. Huh? What's going on with the mower out there? Oh, uh, like, I can't steer it. Like, one, you know, it Let's won't. See. Yeah. Let's see it. I got it. Hey, you, you might be able to, to put the teeth on it right here. Nah, ain't no way. And then, like... Ain't no way. That's got to come off. Oh, yeah? It's got to come off. Oh, come on. Let me straighten it up. Oh, that's what I saw that you posted. You did good, though. Yeah, I always do good. I always do good, sir. I always do you good. I know. All right, put the wheel straight. Man, nobody mess up my mower, man. I'm telling you, man, that was slammed off into the mower, man. I didn't want to do it, but Mike bribed me with some wings, so I made him a key. This is actually uh, <laughs> an inch and a half off of one of my old squares. Look at that. That's not very intricate. Uh, it just, you know, just a little bit of, just a little bit of grinding. I think, I think if you polished it up, it actually looked kind of cool. What do you think, Nate? Oh yeah, if you if you made it nice and shiny. Yeah, if you sh if you shined it up, it looked kind of cool. Look, it says 600 on there. That's because this thing has 600 horsepower. Mike, try to crank it up, man. The battery dead. Hey, oh yeah. Hey, where'd you get that key? Ah. Hey, I knew you were where'd you get that key? I already knew you were gonna get. Yeah, I got you some wings. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right guys, so as we promised in the last Bronco video that we would send out the badges to uh, whoever, you know, wanted them and got the most likes on the comments. So the first badge is going to go to, I'm gonna butcher this name because I don't even know if it's a name or not. P.R. Zemic Blade. Like that's literally the name. P.R. Zemic Blade. P.R. Zemic Blade? I don't know. But you get one of the badges, boss. And plus you get a shirt. So hit us up on Instagram, give us your shirt size and your address. We'll send you one of the badges. And then this one, the next one goes to Alex Flores Jr. He said, I want that badge. So good to see that here in the Philippines. So we're gonna send one of these suckers and a shirt out to the Philippines. I forgot to say the other comment. The other comment was great job with the Bronco, sir. Thank you, by the way. And I think Badlands Bad would look epic on my rusty 2001 Corolla. <laughs> I agree, I think it's gonna look really good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not just gonna give you guys a badge, I'm gonna give you a piece of the Bronco as well, just so you have some more trash hanging around at the house. Now that I got all the edges cleaned up and everything's like super nice, it feels kind of like almost like a manufactured piece of art. And everybody said, oh, we don't want no stinking badges. Okay, well, I'm not gonna give them away. I'm gonna keep them. I like them. I'm gonna put them on my wall. No, but you know what, Nate? Here's, here's my idea with these badges. When I make my first million dollars, I will buy these badges back for 10 grand a piece. How about that? Yeah. I'm on video saying that. So that's, yeah. whoever gets these badges, if you hold on to them long enough for me to make a million dollars, I'll buy them back. Deal? I think that's a good deal. That's you a lot sure. of money. So but you gotta buy my Mercedes first. I think I forgot about that. Well, okay, what do you think was gonna happen? We're gonna hit 
a hundred thousand subs or I'm gonna make a million first. Well, I, either either way, I'm getting a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I did promise that. I, I need to quit making these promises. It's gonna be a 2020 whatever it is. It's not gonna be an old one. But you know what? You guys can get us to a million. You yeah. know. So like I said, if I make a million dollars, I'll buy them back. And you guys got that on video, it's on the internet. Let's say a hundred thousand uh, witnesses, hopefully. But yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy your badges and your shirts. Uh, we'll probably, oh, well, obviously, we're gonna send the Bronco shirts. Which, by the way, I forgot to plug the Bronco shirts. Uh, we have these on the website. It is a two-door Bronco, but, uh, you know, a four-door just wouldn't fit on the shirt. So, we had to go with a two. <laughs> These are limited edition because these were mistakes. So get them while they're hot. Yes, sir. Actually, there's an unlimited amount of them. So just go buy all of them. Buy an infinite amount, you know? Just get them all. But I like it because it says, you can go fast, but I can go anywhere. What's on the back? Yuri's really cool. Nuh-uh. Yeah. For real? Yeah. You didn't know that? It says, Yuri, it says Yuri's really cool and he's the best frame frame mechanic. Bro. I know you wouldn't do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, go check him out. They're on the website, 23rd.com. Uh, 23rdgarage.com, right? Yeah. 23rd. Be, it's usually below the videos. I'm sure most of y'all seen them. Yeah, we have our little merchant site below the video, so you can conveniently click on that, buy you one, buy your dad one, buy your brother one, buy his brother one, buy your brother-in-law one, buy his cousin one, buy everybody one. Get everybody in your family one. That way they can rock these super sweet shirts. And once the Bronco is done, you know, uh, you can just be like, hey, look, that Bronco's on my shirt. Even though it's not the right Bronco, it's still very similar, you know? So buy the shirts. And uh, PR Zemek, is that what his name was? PR uh, I don't remember. And Alex Flores, hope you guys enjoy your badges and your t-shirts. And don't forget, if I make a million bucks, I'll buy them back 10 grand a piece. All right, so we got the fenders lined up, we've got the headlights on, the grills on, the bumpers on. This thing is pretty much ready to come off the frame machine. Uh, we still have to weld the uh, bumper brackets, which we will do tomorrow, but for right now, man, it's looking so good. Everything lines up absolutely perfectly. The whole front end is all symmetrical. It's all square. Everything looks great, and we're super excited about getting this thing done. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the build, and uh, also let us know if you think we should throw any Rough Country upgrades on this thing. I was looking at a rear bumper, and I kind of like it, so uh, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hit that like button if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.